Our long sought destination, no more procrastination. We had some long flights, a small price for such delights. Madagascar is the world's fourth largest island. We toured it from coastal forest to the central highland. It drifted from India over 88 million years of time, which endowed it with wildlife, both unique and sublime. On the left is Harry Lala Jonah, our guide, with his trusty spear carrier at his side. Spearman and Benoit, whose local knowledge is sound, will lead us to where the wildlife is found. Cheery Harry Lala is always happy to give us a hand. His patience and knowledge are the best in the land. Our group of 18, if you know what I mean, drove our guides a bit bats. They said it was like herding cats. Speaking of bats, if you look around, you'll see one here the size of a hound. Lots of people are on their way to bring things to market every day. The favorite way to carry a load is on your head as you hit the road. Markets are found everywhere, often just in the town square. This coconut water is a favorite drink, more popular with kids than you'd think. Rice is the staple of a Malagasy diet. Even the poorest are able to buy it. To make it into a treat, they add a bit of zebu meat. Zebus plow fields and pull carts. That's only where their importance starts. In Madagascar, a man's zebus are like money. Without them, he has trouble finding a honey. He can talk like he's big. On he can prattle. As they say in Texas, big hat and no cattle. The swimming place in the river is a great find. It's also a laundry and car wash combined. Malagasy monuments and tombs are quite splendid, to which carvings are sometimes appended. These carvings can tell a life's story, even when a stabbed zebu is pretty gory. According to a taboo called a fatty, good things will happen when you honor your daddy. The Bara people place family bones in very remote rocky tombs. When you're a kid, it's good to be in a crowd where your friends can be raucous and loud. A place can take on a harsh tone when you're little, frightened, and alone. My gallery of Madagascar birds won't need all that many words. The kingfisher, brilliant color, an iridescent cuckoo roller. The Nelicurvi weaver and olive bee eater. What assortment of color could be neater? Don't forget the crested drongo either, or a paradise flycatcher. What's sweeter? The lesser Vasa parrot also has merit. When just black and white will do, magpie robin and pied crow are two. With a few raptors, I'll open other chapters. A yellow-billed kite soaring to great height, a Francis Sparrow hawk daring us to gawk. A scary scope's owl has a matchless scowl. The white-browed owl stares out to spot some prey, no doubt. As for birds on the ground, here's what I found. A giant kua with eyes so blue, a turtle dove for love so true. 
These hammer cops have a notable head. So does the hoopoe. It's a bit red. Here's one with a kua just taking flight, raising its crown. Oh, what a sight. Can you see the night jar here with its ability to just disappear? Last, there's an ibis strolling along. That's it for my birding. So long. Who goes to Madagascar to see bugs? Ask and you'll only get shrugs. That's a real pity, for some are quite pretty. But nobody gives them any hugs. Just to be nice, I'll offer some advice. You'd be less likely to be seen if you'd sit on something green. Where's all the strange stuff? I don't think we've seen enough. Well, just in case you missed the point, Madagascar doesn't disappoint. The strangest bugs would be hard to pick, have an improbable neck, or look like a stick. Here's a cute shrub with branches all frilly. Yikes, it's alive! Isn't that kind of silly? Madagascar's reptiles are quite diverse. Some have colors they reverse. Some are most stealthy. And for the wealthy, some would make a nice purse. Madagascar tortoises are here to view. The radiated and spider, too. This lizard's camouflage power is quite high. I never would have seen this guy but for its eye. Frogs aren't in the reptile book, but here are two pictures. Take a look. A lemuric is, as the name implies, a lemur rhyme. That's no surprise. The lines in the middle are where I fiddle, so the lemuric rhyme applies. Lemurs are of many kinds. Some have lemurics that I find. My rhymes are scattered. Not all have mattered. Lemuric clips are the threads that bind. Lemurs aren't really much of a threat. Nobody here is breaking a sweat. They know there'll be a banana from many a lemur fana. So a big lemur circus is what we get. Lemurs of old Madagascar, for cuteness, have set quite a high bar. Their little faces are quite sweet with kittens and puppies they compete. In this arena, they're quite a rock star. Sifikas dance along the ground when there is no Fursa around. Her baby has to hang on tight, or he could be dinner for a kite. They hop to safety in a bound. Madame Sifika has a gorgeous coat. She's even a little inclined to gloat. Her dress is quite royal. Her subjects are most loyal. Even photographers seem to dote. Brown lemur lurks. It's one of his perks. He marks his place with very little grace. That's the way this lemur works. There was a lemur called Indri. He sat on a branch too spindly. He did himself proud, for his voice was quite loud. He rocked the whole forest, didn't he? This little lemur is called Mouse. He spends the day in his little house. At night he gets quite lively, goes out clubbing right jively. No wonder he's got no little spouse. Ringtail lemurs sit to chow down. Neatly arrayed, tails outbound. When viewed from up high, a giant spider we spy, showing the lemur's power to a stop. In Madagascar, where lemurs are indigenous, they climb trees to heights vertiginous. Their land is being trashed. People proceed unabashed. Instead, we should seek their forgiveness. Lemur's friend, the chameleon. When green, he can change to vermilion. A run out of rhymes, 
I need to move with the times. These limericks are done. Thanks, Amelia.